ecologically more like a servant to colonizing the whole world with bacteria. And so if we actually put on our glasses called imagination, remember that thing we left back when we were five or six? Our culture beat out of us. If you put that back on, and you can see that every time I do this, I just sloth bacteria all over. <laughs> I'm helping your immune system. <laughs> so this is actually the nature of reality. And Lysol is not going to change that. You know, and this is a really important factor that we need to start reclaiming, is that the way that your immune system will beat the pandemic fun of the antibiotic resistant bacteria that our industry has created is that if you can start getting a little bit, a little bit of exposure, like has anyone ever seen the articles about children becoming happier by playing the dirt? What a revelation. We needed science to figure that one out. <laughs> Just to let you all know, um, I had that experience when I was young, so in the first hand, uh, I must have been a part of the study. Um, but what they found out is that's due to the fact that kids were playing dirt and their serotonin in the dirt. Does anyone know where serotonin comes from? The bacteria. How much of serotonin that your brain needs, right? We all know that brain needs serotonin for happiness, and if not, you get Prozac, right? That's the <laughs> meme they throw out there, right? But where does that uh, serotonin come from? As you say, the bacteria. Does anyone know how much, what percentage, 90%, right, of all your human serotonin, which is called happiness, is coming from your gut bacteria? This is profound. This is what science is now realizing. Um, you know, so I have an article on my website called something like Reculturing, and it's got a list of links of all this wonderful research on this. These are clinical studies. This is straight, hard-headed science. It's profound. Bacteria are secreting serotonin for you. So in essence, you are feeding bacteria in your spaceship, and they are crapping out serotonin. <laughs> that is permaculture at its best, right? <laughs> and so then we're like, oh yeah, you know, I'm part of this ecosystem. I'm part of the ecology. Well, welcome, this is called sanity, friends. Uh, you give your body back. It was never yours, it's a rental. And there's bacteria all over <coughs> And we're not supposed to target them and try to kill them, or else we end up killing ourselves. So if you don't think that's a good idea, all that sanitizer, when you go home, even if you try to throw it in the garbage, consider that it's going to go into a landfill and it's going to sit there for thousands of years and, and change the bacterial flora of even a landfill. And that's probably the least of the toxicity that comes from that place. But it's very interesting. These chemicals are very persistent in the ecosystem. You know, so triclosan is not going anywhere except back into our water sewer line. Ta-da! Um, so get yourself a filter. Does anyone know triclosan? Triclosan, that's the stuff they put in the anti Purell uh, stuff. But it actually turns out that, did anyone see that article that the CDC, Center of Disease Control, wrote against Purell's triclosan nonsense? And they're saying, this is not good stuff. The CDC is even saying that. But the CDC doesn't have a million dollar you know, school initiative where the CDC is putting like, little packets I'm sure you've all seen those, right? The Purell sanitizer. Um, try not to ever use this. stuff. So you need, ask me, I'll give you a recipe. Alcohol, essential oils, shake it. Fine, good, good for you. Um, you know, so what we really have is the ability through fermentation processes to start reclaiming some of that bacteria back into our bodies in a way that's actually assimilable Right? And you're getting a genetic upgrade. You really are. 